Hi, my name is Allie Bautista and I've been making YouTube videos for about six months now. And I've been making these videos primarily for myself to kind of reorganize all of my thoughts. And it kind of morphed into videos for a very specific audience. And that audience um, is people who have been raised or associated with the Jehovah's Witness organization because I was a Jehovah's Witness for 37 years. And I started waking up to my programming, to my indoctrination about four years ago. But this video is for everybody else, whether um, you know nothing about Jehovah's Witnesses, maybe you've never even heard of Jehovah's Witnesses, um, or maybe you're curious <clears throat> about Jehovah's Witnesses, this video is for you. And what a Jehovah's Witness would call a person like you, a non-Jehovah's Witness, we would call you worldly. So this video is for all the worldly people out there. And the reason why I want to make this video for you is because I really miss my friends and family who are still in that organization. And the, I believe the best shot for them to wake up is to have a message from you, a worldly person. And I want to quickly explain why. And I believe this also applies to people who are trapped in many other high control religions and organizations and relationships. That it's that people, family members who are associated with said organization, um, once we decide to leave the group, we are branded and labeled apostates, mentally diseased, controlled by Satan the devil. Therefore, it puts up this firewall that blocks a Jehovah's Witness or a cult member from listening to any words um, or cries for waking up or just stepping back and doing some objective research. And so this is where we as a global human family can come together and help people who are trapped inside these, these destructive organizations that control people's lives. And what's sparking this idea is I just finished reading a book. It's called Leaving the Witness by Amber Scora. And I highly, highly recommend that you go check out this book, buy this book, read this book, because it's really um, a very easy read and entertaining and funny and very touching story of how one woman who was a true believer in her faith, she also happened to be a Jehovah's Witness, woke up. And it was because, um, well, I won't tell you why. Read the book because I don't want to spoil the, I don't want to spoil the story for you. Um, yeah. So what can you do? Well, first of all, I would say around 2013, maybe a few years earlier than that, but that's when I really started to notice this avalanche of YouTube videos from people who were Jehovah's Witnesses, people who were Mormons, Scientology, all of these high control religions and organizations um, are being totally exposed by the internet because now we all have access to the internet where we can go on and do our research. However, if you do belong to one of these um, organizations, one of these cults, you are told by the leadership that the internet is controlled by Satan the devil, that people who leave the religion um, are just angry, bitter, resentful apostates, and they're carrying this message of Satan that will only destroy your faith and don't even listen to them. So in other words... Truth can't withstand scrutiny. One of the things that my particular religion always called itself was the truth. We didn't even refer to it as religion. It was referred to as the truth. <clears throat> so my question, when I started doing a little bit of research, i.e. I googled my religion and I Wikipedia'd my religion, um, I wasn't scared about Googling or using Wikipedia because I thought truth can withstand scrutiny and I'm not going to find anything that can make me leave this religion. 
because truth can withstand scrutiny. And that was kind of how the whole journey started. And when I found out the things I found out, I wanted to share it with all of my friends and family because I love them and I saw that we were being deceived and that we were being controlled and so I wanted to alert them to the things I had learned and found out. Well, if you read this book, Leaving the Witness by Amber Scora, she really illustrates how, if anything, it's it's an outsider. It's someone like you watching this video, a normal person, or as Jehovah's Witnesses would call you, a worldly person. It's, it's your asking a Jehovah's Witness or a Scientologist or a Mormon or, you know, fill in the blank, asking questions from a place of wanting to understand us, um... And I say us as if I were still in that religion. It's, it's you asking the Jehovah's Witness questions from a place of curiosity and wanting to understand and a, a place of neutrality, not bashing, that will really get that person trapped inside to start thinking. So this is just a brief introduction. Um, check out my other videos if you want to hear more details about my story. But in the meantime... I, I truly believe that as a global family, we are all here to support and take care of each other. And when we see someone being controlled by a group of men, in my case, it was eight men who live in Warwick, New York, who um, run this publishing company that tells people how to think, how to dress, how to um, go to the doctor, Everything, every aspect of your life is controlled, but then you're told it's not controlled. It's, it's a total George Orwell scene from Animal Farm, where the, the pigs go and repaint the side of the barn. Whitewashing history, the whole, the whole gamut. It's 1984 in 2019. But it affects all of us because we're all interconnected. And I've been meeting people and hearing people's stories, people who've left. And one of the things that helped me question what I was involved in is two people who I knew who had been expelled from the religion. They call it disfellowshipping. Um, but what's required of all the members, including families, is shunning. And very, very sadly and tragically, these two people committed suicide. And that was another thing that made me start questioning what was I really involved in. But my point is, it affects our communities, whether you've been a Jehovah's Witness or not, you, you maybe know one, maybe your coworker is one. And I just, <clears throat> I just want to emphasize that I'm not bitter. I'm not angry. I'm the exact opposite. I love these people so much. And I just wish for everyone to have freedom to choose. And when you're under um, undue influence, where your behavior is being controlled, information is controlled, even your thinking is being controlled, and your emotions are controlled, you don't have freedom of choice. And so by engaging in these conversations and being curious and maybe not slamming the door in their face or pretending like you're not at home because we all know you're at home, more and more people can start having these dialogues with um, people who are in these high control, un uh, undo influence organizations because it's my hope for for everyone to just have choice thank you so much for listening i'll catch you next time